Okay, I was tagged uh, by my friend Reed over at RCG Car Reviews to do the What's in Your Car video. And I'm super excited because I've been wanting to do one of these, and so I finally got tagged to do one. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to go through some items that I just keep in my car all the time. And then I've got a selection of winter safety items here on my passenger seat, which I'll go through with you. Um, it's about 8 degrees here, so you'll hear the rustling of my coat, and I apologize. Uh, but that's why we're doing this on this day because uh, this is the special like winter uh, safety version of this video so we'll go through some items that I keep in my car okay we'll start over here on the driver's door um, I have some allergy medicine in here uh, some batteries I'm not exactly sure why uh, and then I've got like some paper and pens and stuff in there um, I just keep some piping in here because I really didn't have any other place to put whatever spare piping I had left over um, and then uh, up here on the dashboard I have a uh, strategic values little thing here from uh, the place I work at. So that's just kind of a friendly little uh, reminder that I stick up here. Um, and then in this cubby here I've got some notes and some business cards. Tire pressure gauge, it's always good to have. Uh, this little storage bin here always seems to collect all of my trash and all of my change. So. Uh, you can see that in there, and I also have my little minion friend here. Um, I've got some frozen coconut water here on uh, in the cup holder. And it is frozen solid, because I forgot to bring it in last night. Um, and then in my console here i got some CDs. Um, and then underneath the CDs I've got some lifesavers. And uh, I've got some Pez in here too. So. So that's always nice to have those things in the car. Um, so those are just kind of some things that I like to keep here ready to go in the center console. Uh, so over here on the left side of the, or on the right side of the car, um, I've got some random things in the glove box like my window sticker, uh, some little booklets and brochures and my registration. Uh, I keep my navigation system in there. Uh, I don't use it that often anymore, but I used to use it a lot, actually, so I keep that in the glove box just in case I ever need it again. Uh, and then in the passenger side, I've got my hand lotion. Uh, it's winter, so my hands get really dry, uh, so I keep that in there and some change in that uh, in that cup thing there. So um, now we'll go through the selection of like winter safety items that I have uh, in my car. Okay, so we'll start off here. Uh, first of all, I have a car wash token. So it's always a good idea to wash your car before you go on a long trip um, so that if you happen to crash, emergency crews can easily find you. Um, it'll be a lot easier to spot a clean, shiny car than a dirty one. So good idea to keep that in here. Next, I have the owner's manual. We know no one ever reads these things. So you can use this. Uh, you can burn it if you need to keep warm. Um, you can use it as toilet paper if you absolutely have to. No one reads these things anyway. So this is good to have a nice st uh, stash of paper just to have for whatever you happen to need along your uh, journey. Have some hand sanitizer. Um, so let's say you come into contact with something out in the wilderness uh, that you're not exactly sure what it is or uh, maybe you're doing some work on your car on the side of the road and you get dirty. You can always clean up with some hand sanitizer. I have some Tic Tacs. Um, these would be very handy uh, if you get hungry along your journey. You happen to be stopped on the side of the road because some terrible thing happened. You can keep these in your car uh, for sustenance along the way. I also have a Snickers bar. Um, it's good to have a stash of food in your car uh, when you're doing a long journey that is very dangerous just in case you happen to get stuck on the side of the road somewhere and uh, so this will keep you in a good mood as well because we all know you're not you when you're hungry so it's a good idea to have a Snickers to keep you uh, in a good mood. Alright, so I also have some fabric here. So, if you are stuck on the side of the road, maybe you happen to rip your clothes or something accidentally, uh, maybe you get stuck in a ditch and there's some thorns that happen to rip part of your clothing, or maybe you just forgot to bring a jacket and you need to keep warm, that's what the fabric is for. So there's quite a bit of it here. You've got a lot to work with. Maybe you've got some other passengers with you that also need to keep warm. You can just rip this in half and uh, share it amongst your uh, fellow passengers. So that's awesome. Great to have in the car. Another thing is 
maybe you underestimated how far your car can go on a tank of fuel. You haven't been paying attention and it's a little too far to the next gas station and your car happens to run out of fuel on the side of the road. I've got the perfect thing for you. This is a car charger. As you can see, it's a car charger. So maybe you do get stuck on the side of the road, completely ran out of gas. You can charge up your car using this car charger uh, to help you get to the next fuel station. Gives you a nice little boost uh, to help you get there. Important safety uh, tool. Next, I've got a phone case. Maybe thinking, why the hell do you have a phone case in a winter safety uh, environment? So, it's made of wood, as you can see, it is real wood. So, let's say you happen to be stuck somewhere for quite a while waiting for the emergency crews to come and pull you out of the ditch or whatever. Uh, you can actually snap the wood backing off of this uh, if you can kind of pry it up there on the end and you can snap it in half, rub it together and create some fire to keep warm. So that's a very very handy tool to have. Um, it also doubles as a phone case so that's always nice I suppose. Um, and then lastly I have a Subaru. So we all know how good Subarus are in the winter. Uh, they are just phenomenal vehicles for driving in snow and ice. So I keep a Subaru in here just in case maybe this other stuff doesn't happen to get you by. You can break out the Subaru and you can get to wherever you need to go. Uh, unfortunately, this one is rear wheel drive, which is quite odd. But if we turn it on here, see the wheels move and it actually has functioning eyesight. So if it detects that it's getting too close to an object, it cuts power to the rear wheels. So that's really cool. And uh, again, safety is the mindset with this car. So it'll stop you from getting into an accident and it'll get you where you need to go. So I think that concludes what I keep in my car. So like I said, I went through kind of the, just the regular normal stuff and then uh, my selection of winter items here that I keep in my car just in case circumstances happen to turn for the, for the worst and uh, you're stranded somewhere. You can use those items to uh, stay alive and uh, help get you to your destination. So thanks for watching. Uh, the idea of this video is to tag someone else, so I will put that in the description. Uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already.